Daniel from Coralust, and today I'm doing something very exciting and also something that makes me very, very nervous. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be cutting this $2,000 Eclectus mushroom, and this thing is huge right now. So I know it could probably be cut into quarters, but right now I'm gonna cut it in half, give it a chance to heal, and then I'll cut it again. But you never wanna cut a mushroom without doing a few things first. And one is sterilizing your equipment. We cleaned our saw. We're gonna be using a diamond wet band saw to cut this mushroom. So let's go back there and I'll tell you a little bit more. cleaned it, I've removed any residue from previous cuts. One of the things that corals give off is a little sting for certain brands, certain corals, I say brands, uh, certain species of coral um, can give off a sting that will hurt other corals. So we cleaned this all really, really well and prevented that from happening. So those of you who have cut coral before and have used the Griffin bandsaw, um, congratulations, this thing is an awesome machine and it's a pleasure to work with. But those of you who haven't, I'm gonna to explain to you a few things that are necessity when setting this up. Um, they do include, when you purchase this saw, two sponges, and one of them goes underneath the wheel and that basically cleans off any of the cement, the grit, the gum, pretty much what's ever under there. So this thing here gets stuck underneath the wheel and basically is the first line of defense for cleaning the blade. The second line of defense, and I'm wetting these blades, uh, the uh, sponges, they were dry, so that when you moisten it, it makes them a little bit easier to shove in place. But that sponge will go behind the blade. So you got two lines of defense, one underneath and then one here, and that keeps the gravel and other things from going up into the salt. So, the blade in the water, you should not have water above the bottom of the blade and the sponge because what happens is you get a spraying effect and you'll actually get wet. So, uh, there we go. Check that out. Customized. <laughs> All right, the sole is ready to cut now. So we have water in place, we have our sponges, we check the tension on the blade, the blade is correct. There's an adjustment screw on the side here if it's not. So we adjusted it, tested it out, it's all ready to go. And I'm going for one pass. You have to do this correctly and in one swift motion because if you try to stop, once you cut the mushroom, his muscles are gonna start to pull in and he's gonna start to tighten himself and shrink. It's easier to cut him when he's stretched out and when he's all exposed because when you cut it'll be less tissue that you're cutting through so I'm gonna do this pretty quickly so I don't have to worry and I already inspected the mushroom I know where I'm cutting and on the frag plug we already broke off the stem so we're ready to go and we're going right through the mouth I'm keeping constant pressure on it. And I went through the mouth so the mushroom has an excellent chance of healing. And there we go. So I have two beautiful pieces of mushroom. Oops, did I drop one of them? And what I'm gonna do here is put some iodine and some dip in here just to help protect the tissue and to keep everyone happy and healthy. And then I'll glue those to another uh, frag plug and we will check on them in a few days. What's going on Reefers? I want to talk to you guys about another video idea that we have coming up. I don't know if many of you guys have discovered or have used vinegar before for breaking down calcium and for breaking down if you have like wave pumps that are completely covered in coralline algae. 
vinegar does an amazing job breaking down calcium. So citric acid is another thing that's used to be for cleaning. And we're gonna do a little test and see since I've always been a big fan of vinegar and I haven't really used citric acid that much, but I know it works. So I just kind of want to test the, the vinegar versus citric acid. So, and another thing to look forward to, if you're not subscribed to our Facebook or Instagram page, make sure you guys do. We're gonna be releasing a ton of new pictures of some killer mushrooms. Those of you who are big fans, we have some eclectus, some jawbreakers, some candy crushes that are gonna be dropping, and they're absolutely insane. So make sure you follow us. And as always, thanks for watching. Happy reefing, until next time.